Hey everyone, John here. Welcome back to another Topo Talk. This is a, a sort of like side project that I sometimes come back to when I'm in between um, personal projects. And I like this kind of thing because it's a molded object and doing a re-topo where I'm trying to keep this all quads actually is really tricky. There's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere I can sort of, you know, sneakily terminate any edges. So in with this kind of modeling, edge count becomes really important. And when you can't match edge count, you've got to think of ways to, you know, either increase or decrease the edge count to be able to match things up. And that's exactly what I want to talk about today is this section here. This is where I'm up to. And I just want to talk about different ways to approach this. Well, there's really only one way, um, the correct way. Otherwise, there's, um, you know, the wrong way. And what we've got here is, you know, a certain amount of edge, edges here on this section and a certain amount of edges here. So there's more here than there is here. Now, obviously, the, I could come in and, you know, cut in edges and sort of match that up and then, you know, just join these up. But of course, that's going to affect my curvature. And this is a big problem. This happens a lot um, in 3D modeling where you have a certain edge count, things are looking good, but then you've got to join things up and you add an extra cut in here on a on a curved surface and it wrecks it. So couldn't really do that. We could, I guess we could subdivide it, I guess, but then of course this is all the way through here and it's all looking okay around here. So I don't want to start adding things in here that are going to mess up my topology here. So I need to isolate it to this section here and not affect this curvature. So let's have a look at how we might do that. So I'll give this a go, um, see if we can do it in one go. I haven't actually done it yet. That's why I thought I'd record this so we could, um, so I could show you how I might approach it. So the first thing probably is to add a loop in here. Just keep that one there. I might just add another one actually just there. And what we've got, one, two, and one there, one, two, and one there. I think we'll just concentrate on those ones for now. So I could go like this and like this. That gives me three and three. So we could try that. We might have to dissolve a few things if it's not working. Uh, so we can do that. And we can do that. And we can add one in there. And then um, I've got Machine Tools Smart Face. Remember, Machine Tools is a free add-on. You can um, download and install. So I'm going to hit four and four. So that's not too bad. I just dissolve that one. So we've got a nice diamond there. So that's actually solved that. See, we haven't affected the curvature there. And being able to increase and dec decrease the edge count to match uh, edge counts is so, so vital. So that's okay. Oh, by the way, um, I have this option turned on down in here. This was introduced in 3.6, I think. So retopology actually turned on there. If I don't turn that on, it's actually a little hard to see. So just have that checked like that. Okay. So let's work along here. Now I can, you know, just can move this back a little bit. Uh, and we can probably, let's see, we got one, we got to add one in here. So if we go there like that, and do we want to do that? We're going to triangle in there. Would this be the best way to do it? Um, if I go there and there, that's still looking good. So maybe got one, two, three, and we've got one there, right? Um, bring that across there like that. So I'm just thinking of how I can put another diamond in here. So maybe we can cut that into there. Yeah, cut that into there like that. And add that into there. Just weld those together or merge them. Still talking in Cinema 4D terms, even though it's been a few years now since I've modeled in Cinema 4D. 
So that's working okay. So then we could go, you know, add one in there. Oops, don't want to take that to there. One in there like, uh, can I do it? Oop, I've messed that up. So I'm just going to undo. Uh, I'll quickly save this. Try that again. There we go. Got it. Okay. So I could do a limited dissolve on this. So X limited dissolve like that. We've got two there and one there. Um, is that going to work? I'm going to bring that back up there like that. There we go. So take this one and this one. It's a bit messy at the moment. Just going to grab those and merge those. Bring that one back. And by the way, this is all snapping to my um, uh, target object because I've got uh, surface nearest turned on. That is surface nearest, isn't it? Can't see because my recording things in the way. A oh, face nearest. Okay, so this one and this one. Uh, like that. You can see where we're going here, right? So I'll just do a quick save and I'll clean this up. Let's do that. And what do we got? So we have to carry this down. So we'd have to put another one in here. So probably, you know, probably like that and like that okay another diamond in there gives us four out of two and we're good to go then we can just keep going down there so i'll just limit to dissolve that one and fill these up and i might just actually just quickly just do an f here like that so now that that's solved that issue Let's look at how we might simplify this because this seems to be a little too much going on there. So what can we do here? Maybe grab the knife tool, take that one out like that, which means we could get rid of this one like that and probably that like that. So that gets rid of one loop there. Got a quad quad. We could probably go even further than that. Uh, if I just join that to that and get rid of that, like that. And hmm, okay, we've got a triangle there. So maybe we're gonna need to shift this across. So take that there and get rid of that, like that. So that looks good there, nice and clean. So we're probably going to have to take this across like this, bunk, bunk, like that, and like this, and take those two, dissolve those, see where I'm going here, and get rid of that triangle by just slipping this one across here to here like that, and like that. Okay, that gives us a triangle there, so we'd have to go take that there and get rid of those and look how much better does that look so i'll often do this i'll lay down geometry and get my quads in place and you know if i can get perfect simplified geometry and quads and get it all done in one go then then i will but more times than not i'll just get some geometry in there and, and solve the problem but then i'll just give it a second look and see what i can do to simplify it and make it better. And sometimes I may never see that good solution. I might share it with someone and they go, hey, they might go, hey, look, you could do it this way. And I go, oh yeah, why didn't I see that? It just takes practice. But I think generally that is actually a really nice solution. It's pretty even, got rid of all those extra faces there and I'm good to keep going down here. So if I wanted to just quickly sharpen that up, I'm not gonna do it in any great way, but just to give you an idea of how this would look, just bevel that like that, just to see how it doesn't affect the curvature. So I'll just add a subdivision surface modifier and you can see there. So I've got the, I mean, obviously it looks crap around here, it hasn't been done properly, but I've got 
good curvature here, I've got good curvature here, and I haven't messed up any of the curvature. So vitally important to be able to do that. And just think about how you can incorporate that into your models next time you come up against something like this. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another Topo Talk.